Sorry. Oh, I want to do, make sure that this money gets to the doctor, please. Then you're not coming with me. Ellie, run! Please! Run! Run!
Hey, young lady, what's your problem? The, the money. What money? The money for my for my uncle's operation. Okay, Mr. Martin said. Are you sure it's complete? It's complete, doctor. It's complete. Okay, uh, nurse, yes, hurry up and put a call to Dr. Beckley. Yes, Immediately. Yes, sir. Don't waste time. Yes, sir. Okay. Huh? Don't waste time. Don't get it. You're sure you won't have big fast? Very sure, my dear. You know why I hate to have a full stomach and flying in the air? No problem. Just make sure you call me when you... I'll call you as soon as I get there. You know how I worry when you travel abroad? Yes. No need to worry. I'll be fine. Okay. Have a safe trip. Thank you. Did you forget something? You can't believe this. My traveler's checks are in the drawer in my bedroom. Who could that be? I'm sorry, dear. While I get my traveler's check. Dr. Beckley's residence. Please hook me on to Dr. Beckley, please. Hold on. It's for you, dear. Dr. Beckley here. Uh -huh. Dr. Beckley, the procedure case on Mr. Martin's DK is ready for you now. Please proceed to the hospital immediately. Oh, I see. My flight leaves in one hour. Please. Okay. Tell them I'm on my way. Get the theater ready. I'm on my way. I have to do a procedure now. For your flight? A man's life is at stake. Are you comfortable like this? Or do I bring more pillows? I can see that. Thank you. Thank you. I thank God for that. Ah. I see. You are up, Mr. Martin. <laughs> thank you for saving my life. No, no, no. You have to thank your wife first of all. Uh, I think she really did great knowing how expensive the surgery was. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, darling. Thank you very much. Darling. You're staring. Betty. Betty. What would I have done without you? Hmm? Who gave me back my life? Darling. Why do you talk like that? Mm. You would have done the same for me. Oh, you know I love you, darling. I did what I had to do, okay? I love you. I love you too. But, how did you manage? I mean, the hospital bill was quite high. How? Darling. You know what? I had to call up some favors from my friends. That was the only way. And I made everything possible to see you had a fighting chance of surviving. And I survived. Yeah. All thanks to you, Betty. I'm so happy I'm happy to see you again. Wait. You know what? Just wait, okay? Wait, I have something else for you, okay? I'll be back. <laughs> Oh, 
open it. in here. Enough. Darling, enough for you to start your own chemical business. Take it. Okay. And make the best out of it. It's all I can give. What is the matter? Auntie. Mm -hmm. Your uncle is back. Is that why you are crying? I don't understand, Auntie. <sighs> Honey. Auntie. Life. Sometimes. Trust bones. Bones that are too hard to chew on. And the same life sometimes becomes more unbearable. Too hard to live on. Full of pains. Shame. A reproach. <sighs> Auntie, what is the matter? My God, it is a worthless life for me. I wish, Helen, I wish this life will end here for me now. It's not so like this. I feel like dying. What about the innocent baby you are carrying? All right. You're What's the matter? Is it time? Labor? Huh? What's that? Darling, it's not labor. I'm fine. You're fine. And you're crying. Huh? Are you feeling sick? It's not really dead. I'm fine. How was the trip? <sighs> well, that is. Very well, very successful. Mm. Actually, much more than I ever thought was possible. I'm glad. Very mm? glad. Tell him I'm fine. I'm very, very fine. <laughs> very, very fine. I'm okay. Why don't you go in and freshen up? And I get your dinner ready for you.
you like the food? Should I go and get some? The food is okay. Then what is it, Auntie? Are you well at home? Helen, what I feel has no kill. It runs deeper than any wound and more deadly than any terminal illness. So what is it? Talk to me. You are scaring me. I don't understand. Now listen. But first, Promise me that this thing I'm about to tell you now, that nobody, I mean, no one else should know about it. But Auntie, I... Helen, promise me, you have been there for me all this way. There is no way I could have written this prescription. This dosage, if given intravenously, would stop her heartbeat. The patient would be dead in minutes. Throw this away and get her the right dose. This dosage, if given intravenously, would stop her heartbeat. The patient would be dead in minutes. It's time to go and pick the children from school. No, who said I will do that? No, I want you to go. Please, I'm not too sure. Okay? Hmm? Remember, if you're coming back, bring another top for me. So that I will change this one. Okay. Be fast. Now, where my wife put to bed. Yes, four girls now. What? Oh, Eddie. You mean I should try again in order to get a boy? No way, boy. God has given us four girls, and four girls it is. At least I get to collect uh, dowry four times. <laughs> yes. You know, unlike you guys that have, uh, you know, all soldiers, all soldiers. Now, so far, be that too. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> what happened now? What happened here? Even eating anything all day. I'm fine. I am coming to birth the baby. Please, Uncle, come and take something before you become ill. I'm fine. Go in. I am coming. Okay, Uncle. Oh God, I know this is not right, but I have to do it, because love is the only way. Please God, give and help me rest. <laughs> Take your badge, your daddy will soon be back. I'm coming at the early and I have to finish this story for daddy. Auntie Helen says you should take a shower. Guess at the shower three times a day. I mean three good times a day. That's daddy. I'm off to the bathroom. I come meet as well. Jesse, come and help me out to the dinner. Tell you no bed. Today, Josephine, let's go. Yes, 
on how did my angel fare today? Fine, daddy. Fine, daddy. Come and sit and let me read you my message. You wrote a story for me? Good. Yeah. I know you are saying I'm not to try to just respect your test while I did my study. Oh my darling, this is great. This is very, very thoughtful of you. Mm. Mm. Yes, the story. What's upon a time? Why don't you listen? Yeah. What's upon a time? In a land between two seas and a high mountain lived a young girl. The young girl was pretty but wore torn clothes and had little to eat. The young girl lived with her wicked stepmother and three stepsisters who treated her badly and made her do all hard work at home. Do you like it, Daddy? Like it? Oh, I love it. And your grammar is getting better by the day. Thank you, Daddy. Listen, Daddy, that is not the end of my story. All right, I'm listening. The girl was unhappy that she wished she had a mother who was kind and loving to her. So one day, the stepmother decided to sell her to a trader. Hmm. Hmm. Wicked stepmother. Of this and tell him. What? This my diary is not a scribe of piece of paper. What I want to write. Go to Jesse's room and collect a piece of paper. Hey, easy, 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 easy. Hey, 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 girls. What's happening? Huh? She hit me, Daddy. Daddy, she was using my things without my permission. Mm. Mm? Daddy Angela is making faces at me. Okay, okay. No, no. Harmony, now what did you take? This, Daddy. I was only trying to put it on, but it refused to stay on my chest. Now, Harmony. Yes, sir. If you need any of our things, then you must first of all get her permission. Yes, Daddy. Fine. And uh, Josie, yes, sir. now don't hit her again, okay? Yes, Dad. Good. Now, girls, bedtime. Who is like out to me? Oh, Lord, who is like out to me? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on girls, you see, it's all for the best. Huh? Now your Auntie Helen will be there to take care of both of you. Okay? Yes, Daddy. But Daddy, I want to stay at home. I want to stay at home. Me too. Come on, see ya. See, see, see. For now. Going abroad is the only way I can ensure that, that both of you have the best. Hmm? Your Auntie Helen will be there. You're going to stay with uh, your mommy's big sister, you know, Auntie Estella. Besides, I'll be coming to see you, you know, frequently, okay? Why can't we all go, Daddy? Oh, Angel, <coughs> come on, we can't, we can't, you're forgetting that daddy has a business to run here. Now, see what's going to happen, girls. Um, your Auntie Helen will take all of you out on a grand shopping. And by this time next week, both of you 
Josie, Angela, with your auntie Helen, you live for the US. Okay? Yes, Dad. All right. That's my girl. Some ice cream. Let's go and get it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Now it's your turn. The house is so quiet. Yes, maybe Daddy will get us a puppy cat. A puppy? Maybe. But the house is so quiet and I am hungry. You're always hungry. Daddy says growing children get hungry. Often, last to get to the kitchen is a toothbrush. May I use this to write? Uh, what's that? I'm uh. telling it to tomorrow. Oh, of course not. You can't. This is her diary. And diaries are private. Since this diary belongs to her, you are not permitted to read it. Understand, Angel? Yes, sir. Good girl. But I want to write. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Happy now? Thank you. Alright. Alright, Harmony. Hey, Daddy. Yes. Your dinner is on the table. Oh, thank you. Thank you Good night, Harmony. yourself as gold and your ass has become a national monument bloody idiot now listen to me now, okay. for all of you came in here took everything i got now that my fortunes have changed you decide to leave you can now leave all of you i can go outside and get me eight girls anytime and satisfy my sexual rump instead of having four women insult me nonsense let me never see you here again and i'm not going anywhere don't touch me Hey, listen, I will come back. I will do You can't do this to me. Oh. No, don't you say you can't. 
me. Nonsense. Don't Come on, get her out. Chief, Chief, you can't do this. You only pay it so. Hey, Chief, Chief. I married this idiot as a first wife. Give her everything that her wretched father couldn't give her. Now I can't even talk to her anymore. Right? I'm living with you. Hey! You can't do this, son. Chief! Hey! Chief! You can't do this! Hey! Chief! Chief! You can't do this! about the letter from Helen. Oh, I left that on your table at the office. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And how are they? Oh, they're doing great, Dad. Very well. Um, Aisha, <laughs> did the furniture people bring my dresser? Yes, that's Oh, okay. That'll be all, eh? Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> See, uh, unless I forget, I... I'm still unpacking the curtains in my room. I need to find the documents, the papers on this house which I kept in there. Oh, okay. Do you need any help with that? No, 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 I'm only, I, I think I can handle that. You see, I... I want a situation whereby every bit of renovation of this house has to be done and done very well. That's good. Yes. Come on, me. Trying to write in a diary. <laughs> yes. I enter Uncle Martin's house today. I have been given money to my 
myself with an exclamation mark. <laughs>
Lucas. Yes, sir. Did you tell the GM I told him to phone me the moment he comes in from Abuja? Yes, I did, sir. But... But what? That guy is a bloody idiot. I sent him to Abuja to chase a 250 million Naira contract after I made all this paid work. And yet, he came back empty-handed. I think this time around I have to castrate him so he learns a lesson. That's even worse than that, Chief. <laughs> Could you believe Martin's got the contract? What? Martin? Yes, Chief. What are you talking about? Martin got that contract. Again. <sighs> Just what is going on? Who is behind Martin? I taught Martin everything he ever knew about the chemical industry. I showed him the ropes. Did I do anything wrong? Who are his backers? Who are the people championing the moves? God! Martin. If a son decides to supplant his father, he must be prepared for the consequences. Oh yes, he must be prepared for the consequences. Martin. Martin. Angela, this is your father. Yes. See, I, I've been trying to get your aunt Helen on the line without succeeding. Where is she? What? Where? Spain. Okay, see, um, I'll be on my way to the US tomorrow. Somehow, get her online and relay this information to her. It's important. Yes. Is something wrong there? Uh, her money. Nothing's wrong. <laughs> Daddy, you don't look or sound like it. I mean, between dinner last night and this morning, something has made you this way. Please, Daddy, talk to me. What is wrong? And why the sudden rush to America now? Harmony. Really, there is nothing the matter. Um, however, please uh, call the travel agency and uh, get me on a flight to New York tomorrow. At any cost. It's urgent. Oh, oh, okay, Daddy, but don't you want some breakfast? No, not today. Dad is out of the country at the moment. That means you can fill in for him. I asked him some money, say like two months ago, and since then nothing has been paid into my account. Care to explain? Can't this wait, Jazz? 
I mean, I'm sure Daddy will sort it out when he gets back. How many he can't wait? I asked for that money like say three months back, not even two months, three months because I needed something very, very important. You know me. Okay. You know what? Why don't you write me a check? Your own check, huh? And then when Daddy comes back, he settles you like the good girl you are. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jazz. is Chief Martins Jonathan Digger. Listen now, Fred. I am coming for you because you're a swine of the first order. I will tear you down piece by piece and feed your flesh to the vultures of the air. I'm coming for you and I will tear down every defense you have around you. Nothing can contain you because you are going to start begging. You're going to begin to beg. You're going to beg for your life. You will die slowly by my hand. You're a swine. You're a beast. Well, it's all right. I'll be waiting for you. Who was that, Chief? Well, it's uh, Chief Martin. <laughs> Martin? Yes, I think he's fighting more than he can chew. Chief, I think it's right time we clean him up. I mean, feed his ass to the fishes. Swine from hell! How do get? Leave me! Leave me! Leave him, leave him, leave him. Leave me! Leave him. Leave me. Go! You killed what belonged to me. Now I am here to send you to your to your wicked grave!
Boys. Yes, sir. Feed him to the fishes. All right, Chief. Straight to the river. Idiot. In your next incarnation, you learn to respect your seniors. That's if you ever make it into the afterlife. <laughs> Look how many. Probably he, he, he took a vacation. He won't do that without. But he must be having fun somewhere. I, I don't need this jump, okay? You, you're beginning to scare me. Hello? Yes, who's this? Police detective. Accident. Um, with who? How? Where? Whose body am I supposed to come and identify? Look, detective, I, I have a situation on my hands, okay? My father has... Uh, that will not be necessary. Thank you. Charles, a detective just called me that I should come and identify your body. I don't know what's going on, but we have to leave my keys. <laughs> what, what body could that be?
Nothing conclusive yet, Auntie Helen. They said it was a robbery. The, and the, the men responsible have been apprehended. Um, Jazz and I will just wait here. Yes. I'll keep you posted. Okay, Auntie. Bye. Harmony. Oh I'm sorry. I heard it, so I decided to come and offer my sympathy. Oh, yes. I don't know you had come back. Oh, can I get you anything? Certainly not today. Actually, I came not just to offer my sympathy, but my assistance as well. Have you fixed any date for the funeral? Um, in about a week. My other sisters are coming from America tomorrow. You see, your father was my favorite cousin. I know that in a situation like this, a lot of suffering is bound to follow. And I'd like to ensure that I must alleviate the kind of suffering you must experience as a result of this. Um, when your sisters all assemble, Pick a budget for all your expenses and uh, let me know. I want to take care of all the expenses out of the bill. But that's asking too much. <laughs> no. Nothing is too much for the memory of one who was a brother to me. Oh, Uncle, that is so kind of you. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's all right. It's all right. Okay, I must be going. Thank you. Why is it that no matter what I do, Harmony will never appreciate it? My brilliance can dazzle all the other people, but she just does not appreciate it. She's shrewd. She's calculating. And I know it will be very, very difficult to handle. All right. Virus, sir, come. Get me Jim. Okay, boss. Please excuse me, I just um, have to rush over to the office briefly. Today? I just need to clear some papers off my table. Harmony. The office can wait today. We need to discuss further. Uh, 
All right. Really, if you guys ask me, there's no further to discuss. I mean, Daddy is gone. I think all we need to discuss is what father left behind. Excuse me? We are here to discuss daddy's assets just hours after his burial? Come on, be sensible, Jazz. Can't that wait for a short while? Jazz is right, honey. I mean, the earlier we get settled with this estate of a thing, the better for all of us. So that we all can move on with our lives. I mean, it's barely one week that I've been back home here. And I can tell you guys, I am not ecstatic about leaving in Nigeria. Mm. Welcome to the real world then. Very well then. I'm sure how many can feel like that? Well, I'm afraid it's not in my place to do that, sis. Well, Daddy's solicitor, Mr. Osu, will handle that. I have arranged with him to read the will and to see to the execution of the will, so it's not in my hands. Oh well. Sounds good. I guess we all can wait till Monday. Whatever. Alright, I'll, I'll just see you to dinner then. Oh, Uncle Alfred is coming to join us. Waited for dinner. Uh, in the circumstance, um, no, some other time. I know that it's been hard on you girls. That's why I thought I shouldn't allow you to be by yourselves and just mourn. We'll survive, Uncle. Thanks all the same, Uncle. Not just for your moral support, but also for footing the burial bill. Well, that's the least I could do for Martin. Um, and I'm glad you're all sticking together to help sustain his name and uh, perpetuate his legacy. Uh, by the way, what do you intend to do about all his companies? Um, well, for now, nothing has been decided. We just have to wait for Daddy's will to be read. Oh, uh, yes, yes. One thing, though, um, they're all going to require a lot of competent hands to help you run those companies. I hope you know that. Yeah, yeah. I agree. We'll do our best. Thank you very much, Uncle. Firstly, ladies, I must express my deep condolence. Your father was not just a client to me. He was also a very close friend of mine. Thank you very much, sir. Please, could we get out of business? Of course. The will of Chief Martin Jonathan, dated this 21st day of August 1999. In the event of my death, I wish to bequeath to my four daughters my assets as follows. To my daughters, Josephine, Angela and Jasmine, I leave 15% each as their shares in the company. 
and a monthly allowance of 1 million naira for the next three years after my demise. The three also inherit one house each of my property on Victoria Island. Lastly, I leave the running of four germ chemical and allied products to my youngest daughter, Harmony Jonathan, and make her the major shareholder of the company with 55% shares. She also gets the remaining four properties, namely the four houses in VGC. What? Bruh. Harmony. You really are daddy's right hand woman. That was your father's wish, lady. Contestable. Look, the company still belongs to the four of us. To you, you mean? There's no need to get nasty, Angela. I see. God damn it! I have had enough of wasting nonsense! Good day, the lawyer. Damn. I knew she had something up her sleeves. He left everything to her. Everything that is worth anything. God. Well, I was shocked myself. Um, your father showed no foresight at all. None whatsoever. No. No. I knew she had always been his favorite. I know that. But I thought it was because our mother died after giving birth to her. This is such a blow. Eh? I need more than what he left me. Don't let it bother you. Look, you know I'll do everything in my power to ensure that uh, you get whatever you need. You know that. Really? Okay, what about giving me that this whole wealth? Can you do that too? We'll try. We'll try. I know, I know. He was angry with me for not practicing law after school. But honey, it's my life. I make my decisions. What wrong did I do? It's okay. Huh? It's okay. This is not strong enough. All right. When we go inside, I'll give you something much stronger than this. Yeah? You like it. That's my girl. <laughs> choose to go live abroad all those years. He sent us away. And now he had groomed Harmony to take over from him. For Christ's sake, she is the last child, the first daughter. And I am the first. God damn it. And I have all the qualifications in the world to run father's company. Well, I think that we should contest that wheel. Mm -hmm. huh? What you think? <laughs> I'm very happy. Angela, Angela. Angela, this is not America. Hmm? Now, if you take that case to court, you will keep on battling and battling. You will not only battle that, Tennis, how many shots to hire? 
you also battle the bureaucracy of Nigeria's judiciary. So think about it. I'm sure you don't want to do that. <laughs> God damn it! No. <laughs> Something's not right here. Something is wrong. I don't believe in Daddy's will. I'm afraid. God damn it! I beg, I don't tire of all this noise. How do you go? What do you care, Jess? Excuse me? I said, what do you care? After all, you lived in this house with dead and harmony. You never bothered to get involved. All you care about is your dead ass, cheap ass, fast life and cheap Oh, you man. shut up! right now what is wrong with you what right do you have to judge me who are you to judge me let me tell you something this happens to be my life and i live it everywhere i deem fit. do you understand this whole trouble this whole noise is all about daddy's money daddy's wealth and i happen to be daddy's child so i have a right to, to, to you to are just hands. a fucking junkie girl you don't call me you don't you know what you are and you never wanted to get involved oh, yeah. now you are just oh, yeah. Don't try me because if you try me, I will show you say this place will be America. Now, I will lock you up. Yes, I, I will, will lock you, you up. up. I will show you what you're joking I said shut up. Mom. You guys, don't try me. Don't try me. Don't try me. You don't know what? 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 You don't Damn it! And you shh! Hang it back. And you next time, you don't disrespect your senior. Don't you have some manners? Angela, no try me. <laughs> now listen and listen good. You two. Fighting will not solve this problem. And you, Angela, get it straight into your head. Yes, what's wrong with you? This is a time that we need to stick together. Look, all, all these things, that I'm getting confused. I mean, what do we do then? I think we should meet Alfred. Yes, Alfred knows the nooks and crannies in this business. I think he can help us. Yeah? If we need solution to this thing, Alfred is the guy. Where's my, my lighter? I'm sorry, I, I need to light this. Don't go smoking up, girl. Smoke too much. Sorry to disturb you, ma'am. Yes? The secretary said I should tell you that your sisters and Chief Alfred are waiting for you in the boardroom. Chief Alfred? Yes, ma'am. Okay, just tell them I'll be with them shortly. Okay, ma'am. I didn't know there was a meeting today. And with all due respect, Uncle Alfred, only Daddy sits at the head of the table. Oh, sorry, no harm intended. How many? If I can sit here. How many? Whoever sits at the head of the table today and right now, it's not an important issue. We want to know what you would like this whole business to look like. The three of us here do not, and I mean do not absolutely accept the fact that you own the majority shares in a company. Is that why I've been summoned? Well, as sitting chairman of this company, 
No one summons a meeting without my consent. But I choose to overlook this. I'm also, this is family business and I think we should leave it that way. Uncle Alfred is family and he knows everything about this business. You see, I came in here because you requested my presence, but it's good to interrupt anything and I must leave. No, 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 we do apologize. We need you here. Kindly sit down, sir. Amani, why don't you sit down and listen to what your sisters have to say? We, and I mean Angela, and I have lived abroad for two decades. And I am not prepared to relocate just to run this company. That is settled. But then again, that does not bring us to the fact that you own majority of the shares in this company and the major assets that left behind. Therefore, we are demanding that you sell out the company and share the proceeds equally. Sell what? Sell what? Are you out of your minds? You want me to sell the only legacy that daddy left behind? Not while I run majority shares in the company. Not in this life. I am not selling. How many of you are too obstinate? You don't have any respect whatsoever for anyone. What do you need a company for? I thought all you ever wanted in life was to become a writer. Why not sell out and, and pursue that dream? I am not selling the company, period. And I think this is loyal for any of you to think about selling daddy's company. Daddy is dead. He lives on in here, in my heart, and I will keep his dream alive. It is not yours to keep harmony. What is this? Why are we fighting over daddy's assets? He loved us and he gave us his best. We owe it to him to make this company the best in the chemical industry. Look, take it easy, girls. I'm sure there's a better way of handling this than going at each other's throats. Did you sell? I will not. I honor on what authority mine. I still run and own your shares in this company. I will not sell. And that is fine. Fine now. Hello? Your sister Haman is a very ambitious woman. How does she intend to uh, run a company as big as that of your father? Ah. Yeah, I don't know. My father spots that girl. Man. But it's none of my business though. Mm. That reminds me. Mm. You promised me more of that stuff. I'm going to give it to you. Whenever I make a promise, I keep it. Yeah. But that's on one condition. Which is? That you don't allow any other person to touch you. <laughs> really? Mm. <laughs> Wait. But aren't you a little bit too old for me? Uncle? Mm, mm, or should mm, I say uncle? Well, you because look at I me. got more stamina. You think so? I know so. You know, like old wine, I get better with age. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, you asked for this, didn't you? Yeah.
But you don't understand me. I said I want the case stopped. Let all the witnesses go before it gets any messier. What? The commissioner of police is interested. Make him uninterested. That's part of your responsibility. Let the boys go. And destroy the case file. Look, I don't care how you do it. That's why I pay you. Otherwise, you won't be in that uniform. Do I make myself clear? Good. Good. Blood policeman. I send for you, drop everything you're doing and come running. I make myself clear? Absolutely, Chief. Good. Look at us in the photographs. That's your next assignment. You mean women are my next assignment? Yes. Interesting. And listen, that does not mean you have to use your balls. Use your head this time. Absolutely, Chief. Clear? Good luck. Absolutely. Good luck. Please sit down. I have gone through your resume and your references, and after profound consideration, I am pleased to welcome you on board the company as the new director of accounts. <laughs> wow, wow, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I, I am really pleased to hear that. And I assure you that I'll give the job only my very best. Thank you once again. Very well then. Welcome on board, Mr. Macaulay. Please, call me Jim. My secretary will take you to the director of personnel so he can fill in the requisite forms. Very well then. Thank you. Yeah, Mary, I'm sending Mr. Macaulay to you so you can take him to the director of personnel's office. Josie, please speak to the new director of accounts. Hi, Mr. Hello. Nice to meet you. Um, Mr. Jim. Call me Jim. Jim, I'm Josie. Nice meeting you. Pleasure is mine. Same here. Excuse me, ladies. Uh, was there something you wanted? Indeed. It's the end of the month. And our allowances are still outstanding. Care to explain that? Is that all? That is enough to get me pieces of harmony. I refuse to be treated as a second class citizen by my sister just because she's sitting atop of my own father's wealth. Damn it! I just signed your checks minutes ago, big sis. Nonsense. MJ, 
Angela! I tell you, she's really getting out of hand. I don't know what that girl feels like. Oh! She's really behaving like daddy's spirit protecting every damn thing he left behind. Oh! I don't understand anymore. So, what do we do then? What do we do? Because... I think it's time to sit up and do something about Harmony or else all our dreams will turn to ashes while we wait for her to sell the garden company. Yeah. Uncle Alfred said the same thing yesterday. For real? Yeah. And he had advised that the only way out of it, the only way out of it, is to let her leave on her own. How do we achieve that? It's drastic. But that's the only way out. <laughs> well, I am in on whatever you decide, Josie. I'm in, girl. But hang on a minute. Do you think Jazz will be interested? <laughs> Jazz. Can we trust her? You know that girl is messed up with uh, drugs and fast life? You see, she could be a spanner in the works, you know. And she lived in this house with Harmony and they were quite close. Please, my name is not Madam. I am Harmony. Harmony? Yes. Uh, well, that's a beautiful name, I must say. So, can I have the honor of taking this beautiful lady to lunch? Lunch? Yes. I don't mix business with pleasure. Oh, please, please. Humor me, Harmony. Just lunch, okay? It won't take much of your time. Please, don't say no. We'll see about that then. All right. All right. And have a nice one. You know, when I 
saw you tonight, my... I don't know, my, my heart almost stopped. Honestly, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. You, you look so lovely tonight. Oh, don't flatter me, Jim. I'm not flattering you, okay? <laughs> look, the only reason I agreed to come out with you is because I just wanted to get away from my sisters. Oh, really? <sighs> They're on my neck to sell the company. Yeah, I see. I see. So uh, what about uh, uh, the third sister? Uh, I've only seen Josie and Angela in the office. Who, Jazz? <laughs> she does her own thing. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. All right, no more frowns. Okay, I... How do I put this now? I brought you here. I brought you out here to give you a lifetime of fun. Honestly. So, just sit back and relax, and let me treat you like a queen that you are. Ooh, flatterer. <laughs> I'm not flattering you. Of course you're a queen. <laughs> you're right. Come, I want to show you. Come. Where am I coming to? Just come. Should I trust you? Oh, just come, okay? It's a surprise. But you like it. I don't know if I should trust you, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> Hello? Hi. No, nothing. I just wanted to say thank you for taking me out the other day. What? Um, <laughs> of course. Of course, I'd like to do it again. Rubbish, are you still sucking on the phone? Eh? Are you mad? Is it that you cannot understand what we're saying? Mm -hmm. What's the meaning of this, Angela? I don't understand, understand what I'm saying. Please give me later. Sister Josie, just tell her to give me back my phone. I, I am not giving you the chicken. You don't listen to me. Chicken is not giving me the chicken. You don't think I'm going to give you the chicken. This is not how it's going to go. You have to go to the phone. I don't want 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 to go to the phone. Jesus Christ! What did you just do? Um, well, like I explained to your sister, you know, your other sister in the world, the situation we have on our hands now is rather complicated. How come, Doctor? Well, you see, uh, her sight has been temporarily impaired by that incident. Meaning what? Meaning that for now, she is blind. <gasps> but, but, Doctor, uh, how come? Well, it's a, it's a temporary condition which can be corrected with time and with appropriate medical attention. <sighs> Um, but doctor, can she be taken care of here or should we fly her, fly her abroad? I think if you desire speedy recovery for her, I think the best bet would be to fly her abroad. Uh, thank you, doctor. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, please, can I see her now? She's with your sisters in the world. You can join them. gonna die god damn it she'll survive don't don't you say it hey this is our chance baby mm. and how do you mean you just listen up Oh, 
Ah, yes. Yes, I assure you, everything is falling into place. I've sent over the files you requested. Yes. All right. All right, I'll keep in touch. <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. What a surprise. <laughs> oh, I happen to work here at the moment. Oh, yeah, 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 I know. Uh, it's just that since I got here, I've not had the opportunity of seeing you in my own part of the office. Oh, yeah, I have a list thought that you have your eyes on me on how many, that's why. Probably. Mm. <laughs> well, on the contrary, she had her eyes on me. I see. Yes. Oh, very well then. Maybe I can buy you a drink tonight. How about that? <laughs> well, I, I don't know what to say. Oh, well, I am deeply honored, my lovely Jusufu. Hmm, thank you. Okay, very well then. So I'll see you. Hook up later. All right, all right. What are you doing back to work, Harmony? I work here if I must remind you. Don't you ever give up. The doctor warned that further distress would delay your recovery. Anyway, this papers needs your signature. What are they for? Mm, suppliers' payments, uh, monthly salaries, and your medical bills. Okay, just um, leave them on the table. I'll deal with them later. Just sign it, Harmony. With no sight, you need someone to help you out. Okay, then I'll just get Jim to look at the vouchers first. Um, Jim signed. I mean, he prepared this voucher. She must have something up her sleeves. How do you mean, Juicy? But was that why you sacked her secretary? I had to do just that. When I discovered she was feeding her with all the information about the inflated vultures, Jim raises first. Yes, and all our discussions with Uncle Alfred to buy you by the company. Gosh! Huh? That girl! That girl! She is so stubborn! Damn! The time is here. The time is here. That time has come. We have to put our plans into action. Girls, 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 girls. Girls, I do adore it. What's happening here? I heard someone talk about plans. What plan is it? Huh? Just me now. Tell me. Wait till the hour. <laughs> oh. hmm? One of us is getting married. I mean, it's high time someone got married around here. Huh? Now, I don't like the Now, I don't like the And if, if you know with me for this game, your mama. Check him now. No. I can't do now. No. Guys, guys, guys. I 
Ale si vôbec nevysí. 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 Vôbec Play, 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 play. Play, make a Don't play now. Hi, hi. Hey. 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 Excuse me! Please, we are looking for one Kelechi. This girl's not your key message, yeah, like. Hey! Who will I be? Two of now. One, I will also enter my cabin and come and ask me rubbish questions. Wait, up! Excuse me! Wait! I just told you that we're looking for one Kelechi. Come, you. You, in fact, two of now. If anybody they find anybody here, then it must be Queen. Who's that? No. Who's that? No, 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 no. Hush. I'm afraid we're in the wrong place. Yeah. Because we are actually looking for a guy mm -hmm. or someone who speaks good English and highly, highly. Polished. Exactly. Polished. Yeah. So we if you know what I mean. I'm afraid. Guys. Thank you guys. You don't want those now. Okay. Josie and Angela. You know them? Oh, sure. Yeah. The guy they're wrong things. <laughs> I hear him calling. Some high class society ladies, sports, and uh, with plenty of money to throw around. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Well, here I am, I'm Kalechi. Ooh, girl, he is sounds eloquent. So, what can I do for you? <gasps> yeah. We have a business proposition for ya. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Tell me about it. Monday morning. 10 a.m. Um, just one minute. Mm-mm. I hope I didn't leave. No, no. Don't be late. Be joined. See ya. And dress well. May they drop something? Shut up, shut up. Huh? Do they worry you? Just send any time where anybody just come here, then you go drop something. I want for you and you Some, go go city. Um, you go trek or you go by witchcraft. Oh, no, ask me money. Sometimes you go just package yourself for your purpose. See, I tell you, I go use them like, can't reach me at this place day. But they don't go know. What well, package, package. Man, I choose this money. Money. Say package. You the package. We come your house. Now my money we use by this one. Shh, get away, my friend. How many times I don't feed you? Oh yeah, the trek. Play job. Oh, 
The answer is simple. She was incompetent. Incompetent? Mm -hmm. But that lady has worked for the company for over 10 years. Daddy found her work excellent and so did I. I mean, I still run the company and I will not tolerate any of you going above my head to make changes. And yes, our bankers called to confirm the terms of a loan facility taken out by the company. What loan is this and, and why wasn't I told? Hey! But you're signing on papers, darling. Come on. You... You deceived me into signing loan papers. <laughs> Damn it. That is criminal. You must put a stop to that process at once. <laughs> Listen to yourself talk, Hammond. Look, blind women do not want multi-billionaire companies. Resign, girl. Company and let's be strange. No, 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 it's a dozen. Don't shut it. Don't like that. See, let's roll. Oh. Am I here? You're just too stubborn. You're just too stubborn. That is your problem. Sell this company and let everybody have peace. Stop never. Us. I will never sell. Never. Just look at your condition. How many, please? Sell this company, okay? I will not sell! You will sell, oh! You will sell that company because I need my own share of the money! Okay? I need it because I gotta feel good! Okay? I'll just try to sympathize with you. I don't even know if you can go with me this way. The worst has already happened to me. Not selling that is company. That's it. Not now. Not ever! I'm not selling! different though. Um, <coughs> oh, you know, this this cold. I call this cold and it's affecting my voice. Sorry. So tell me, did you miss me? I did. <laughs> oh good. So how about uh, I'll take you out for dinner? Oh Jim. I don't think that's such a good idea. I'm not the person I used to be. My sight and... What good would that do anyway? Oh, baby, don't say that, huh? I'm here for you. I'll take care of you. I mean, I'll feed you. Is that okay? Okay, thank you. <laughs> that's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> I try not to. This place feels so beautiful and warm and inviting. Is it as beautiful as I think it is? Oh yes it is. If only you could see yourself. I know. Well you see, that's why I brought you here. Because I have something very important to tell you. 
Okay. You see, I know this may shock you. But Harmony, I'm crazily in love with you. Uh, oh, Jim. That is so sweet. But... No buts, my dear. Just go ahead and say yes. Say yes? Yes. To what? That you will be my wife. That you will live with me forever. Be my soulmate. Oh, Jim. Say so you will marry me. I love you so much, Jim. And. And yes. Yes. Yes, I will marry you. Yes. 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 Be all this one. Eh? This damn girl dragged me go to church. For what? Eh? Speak English. Now you listen to me. Getting married in the church before countless people was not part of the deal. The deal was for me to just marry her, take her along with me, and get my money. Not going before a priest and saying some kind of bullshit vows. You will do whatever I say, or the deal is off. Now you listen, leave no traces of your address. Here is your first check. Yes, darling, I'm over here. Two weeks, and if we don't go now, we'll not spend enough time together. Can we leave? Yes, my dear, we can leave now. Okay, but I haven't finished dressing up. Can I go in and finish? Oh no, you're okay the way you are. Whatever else you want to do, you can do it in the car, okay? Are you sure? Yes, my dear. Okay. Come this way. Um. You make no mistakes.
calm down, doggy. Hi, honey. Yeah. You gotta calm down. Oh, okay. Yeah, give me a hug. Bye, honey. Let's see. You're hurting my Look, we there good, Joe. So. Oh. So I'm going to This is your new home. You have to get used to it. But this is not a hotel. I know my sisters paid for us to have the best and we can't have our honeymoon here. So you will see honeymoon. What did you say? I said that you are lucky to have a roof over your blind head instead of you sitting down here and telling me about some useless honeymoon. Jim, what have I done? Why are you suddenly like this? Jim. Who be that? Uh, you had better just shut your mouth. Just, just sh shut your mouth. Just be like stranger for inside the coat. <laughs> because that's the first time when you visit her with this. You don't wear coat for your life before. Not for you. Yeah, There's always the first time. You don't enter coat before. This now your first time. I get away, join uh, Uncle. See. Uh I see you when you the company. Uh, yes. Are you the driver? Hey. Hey. This car, that's how manage? Which car I manage? That my life be that now. Yeah. <laughs> how come now? How come? Those time that time where those chicks come. Well, I tell you, see, it'll be everybody will come and I'm gonna ask for a couple of couple from. See the levels now! See my life! You're on your own now. Now my own life! Wait, 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 tell me. Tell me. Now your car be dead. Now you buy a Oh, it is this a joke? See her now! See the levels! Oh my god! Hey! 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 Before when I go enter that moto, anytime we when I go enter that moto, I go wash my legs. Okay, forget this show. That's a big boy. Hey, 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 hey. Not to say the girl blind. Shh. Shh. Stay inside. That's not true. So as I can't cut out now, we take on the apple. Any new deal? You know she fools on one. She fools on my way to stay for Amakoya. Yes. We get some contraband when you say no control grab. And as it be so, now we team guys they run around for. But early morning, many money more we don't match. As I did now, I don't bath. So tomorrow morning, five o'clock, I don't wake up, wear my clothes, I bow the end. You may say that tomorrow morning you're supposed to go to the yes, morning, five. We don't leave this town. We wow. did the stop. You know, see, we suppose don't cross the road before those men in black will fall out. That's so true. You yeah. understand? So we must move ah. as early as ah. possible. Ah. Why? It will be safe. What will happen? We say first thing in the morning, eh? When I will just come wake me up. Jim! Jim! You buy dog. I be in a new beginning. You know the year when they come. How you answer this? Idiot. No, 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 can I just have a little piece? I just went out there just to have some boy with my friends and you're just busy chilling me all about. What's all this for? What's all this for? Damn! Look at this. You 
useless, spoiled, rich girl. Go and get them. What? I said go and get them! Your luggage! Go and get them! Did you hear me? Go and get them yourself! That's what I said! Go! The keys. Anyhow you want to do it, just go! Here, yeah, the keys! And for your information, first thing in the morning, I have a very serious business to attend to and I don't want you disturbing me and I don't want to look for anything by the time I get back here. Yeah? of alcohol, Jim. And then you left me in this strange place without food or water. Aside the fact that I am blind, are you also crippled? All you would have done is Look for somebody to show you where the village market is. Go there and buy food items. Come back. Somewhere in this house, I have pot. I have kettle. I have spoon, I have knife. Should I have just made me a dinner? Hmm? This place is indeed a village. <laughs> it's not a village. A shirata. Hey, my wife. My life is just a sad story. I don't know when the pain will end. My hope is dying because no matter what I do, it only gets worse. So I need a guardian. 
me. Welcome back. Oh. My bath water done already? Yes. Um, uh, yes? You know that there is no soup in the house. So hurry up with that thing that you are sweeping. So that you can go to the market and buy some things that bubbles will chop. Abby? You hear me? Yes. Um, by the way, you see all this water water soup where you just cook since you come here? I don't understand though. Why be say you know fit cook better soup where bubbles go fit chop? The other day you make a gushy soup, water. You cook up or not? Water and tomato, and just they stay on top. You can't make bitter leaf. You be like only the bitter leaf you just put inside. Why you be saying you know if you just cook one better soup, where person go feed chop here? I be like they teach you to cook where you come from. Cook better something, and where people go feed chop. So you yeah. Yes. Huh? Yes.
go. Huh? You said I should go to the market. I said that you should go to the market. Therefore, make you leave all the dirty way they sweep. Eh? So, because so you won't go market, now you gonna make you no sweep house again. So you don't know, say you supposed to finish one thing before you do another thing. And they talk say where you come from, say you the wrong company. How you take the wrong the company now? Where you don't know say for management, you supposed to finish one thing before you start another one. What do you learn? I bet I make you do something, John. My eyes are filled with tears. Just one small house. I'm like a Finish, go market, go buy the Shaking in the wind. Just My life small house. is just a sad story. I don't know when the pain will end. My hope is dying because no matter what I do. It only gets worse, so I need a guardian angel. Someone Bro, I'm to take on. my pain away. Do that to you. I don't want night and day I pray. Yeah, I need a me. guardian angel. <laughs> Suffering is just too much for me. I need someone to set me free. Where are the jewels? Where are they? I don't have them. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, I saw 
saw those jewelries in Lagos before we left. Where are they? No, Jim. You can't have them. You've taken everything. You've sold everything. The car, my clothes. You've given me rags to wear. I can't give you my jewelry. Are you listening to me? Are you listening? This is my house. And I have the right to sell and buy whatever. Do you understand me? Take me to my father's house. <laughs> No man, no man, I'm playing, please. What's it called concern you? Concern my family. No man, I'm playing. Eh? No man, I'm What's it concern you? Concern my wife. Okay, don't sorry, do man. Nah, don't do that. Which one level is with this now? It doesn't get my life. I'm concerned you now. Nah. You get her now. Nah. If she dies, nah, now you go bury her. Which one is beyond this one now? Which one is the same man that I made she come up for rain? Maybe if she was finished, she will come up for rain. Okay, sorry. Okay, you. Now, you. Who about you? Go tell her. In fact, who about you? Go out and wash. Oh, as a matter of fact, Jama, you I'm going to employ you as my husband. Make you call the watch for me. <laughs> employ me? Yeah? You go be pay me. I'm not going to pay you, but you go make a lot of concentrate. No sense. You don't mind your own business. I don't do it. Sorry, sorry. You don't do it. Play game, play game. Play game, play game. Play. You make you watch that thing quick, come out for it. I send them. I send you. Not if you watch quick, you go come out for it. No, I even watch that. This guy knows you have this one now. When we could walk on the ten minutes rubbish now, yeah, don't don't do do now. Finish, now. they don't Sorry, do that. Now let me write this guy. In this one, in this one, play game, play game. Now you make this guy now call the win me. I lied, they win you before. Now most of the people, no. the slash no. one they cost me, make this guy enter no. crap. I don't no. even need talk. In don't go crap before I talk. Who said who said that you take over? Play game, play game. That is the slash one they cost me. I don't go crap before I talk. I'm not playing. 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 My eyes are filled with tears I'm like a leaf shaking in the wind My life is just a sad story I don't know when the pain will end My hope is dying because 
matter what I do, it only gets worse. I agree to. I Who are you? Not me, Uba. Uncle's friend. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Where is your husband? Oh, um, he travelled. He, he's not here. Ah, okay. I will come back. Um, please, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I don't mean to be a bother. But can I ask you a favor? Favor? What favor? Um, see, my husband traveled and he forgot to leave money with me. And, and I need to pay those children that help me fetch water. I also need to go to the market. I'm so sorry to ask, but please, can you just help me, please? Um, all these things, I don't have much of you. I don't know, what will 500 naira do for you? I, it would do a lot, a whole lot. Okay, this 500 naira. But don't even let your husband know about it. Because if you tell him now, instead of to come thank me, if he carry back, he come there, you want me for my house. I don't want to. I won't tell him. I won't tell him. Thank you so much. God bless you. God replenish your pocket. You are a blessing to me right now. Thank you. God, God really bless you. Thank you so much for everything. Hello? I need a guardian angel. Suffering is just too much for me. I need someone to set me free. I need a guardian angel, someone to take my pain away every night and day. I pray. I need. A guardian angel. A suffering is you just lying, son of a gun. I trusted you. And what do you pay me back in return? Betrayer. You are selling this company right under my nose, god damn it! What? What are you talking about? I am talking about you. Jim, I'm talking about you. Buying off all my shares and that of Angelus? Jesus. You think I wouldn't know that you were using a smaller business name to buy into this company, damn it! Me? You're me? Yes, you! Is that you? Look, Angela, don't tell me you believe this. Excuse me. Look, your allegations are unfounded. The shares were bought by the best offer we had. I don't own any company. Hey, what, what, what are you saying? Hey, what, what, why are you saying this? And you... What now? What do you want now? Come on. That is not a very nice way of saying hello to a brother-in-law. Josie. Hey! Hang your back. Don't you dare. Don't you ever call me Josie. Ooh. Only important people call me that. What? Uh, can you just tell us what you want now, Kelechi? I mean, what more could I want? I want more money. <laughs> you know, taking care of your blind sister is costing me so much. I want an increase. <laughs> I see. You want an increase. <laughs> so, how much are we talking about? Well, uh, let's just say... A million naira for a start. Mm -hmm. And then 500,000 every month instead of the miserable 100,000 you give me. Are you out of your mind? Tell me about it. I am sorry we can't afford that. Really? Yes. It's okay. Uh, I guess I'll just have to go back home and then bring back your blind sister 
back to you after telling her the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Good day. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Okay. We, 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 we will pick. Oh, okay. So, how do you do? It's nice to do business with you. <laughs> I want my check first thing in the morning. You better tell her that, Angel. Is that what you're saying? We are going to have a baby. God forbid, bad thing. You are the one who's going to have a baby. Not me, not we, but you. You can go ahead and have the baby. You have the baby only you. Not just near me with that levels. James, please. Don't don't do this to me, please. Do what? I need to start antenatal and I need money. If you can't, just send me back to Lagos. God, is there something wrong with you? Are you mad? Anyway, whenever you are ready to die and you have signed your death wish, then you cannot tell me then I'll take you back to Lagos. That's even by the way. This thing that you are carrying, how old is it? It's about four months. What? Four months? And you've not told me this? Jesus Christ. So this is your plan, eh? So all your plan is to trap me on that fatherhood. Make me start carrying one nonsense thing. And start going around asking Papa. So that is your plan, right? It will not work. I'm telling you, it will not work. Did I tell you that I'm ready to be a father? Did you see anything like fatherhood written on my forehead? You are pregnant. Back to you. Back to sender. And let me tell you, there is a good health center in this village. So if you don't wish, go and look for it, find it, and get yourself registered. Wait, are you going out? Yes! What about the food? What nonsense food? Eat it! Go ahead and eat it because it will be good for you and your baby! My eyes are filled with tears I'm like a leaf shaking in the wind my life is just a sad story I don't know when the pain will end My hope is dying But that my small room. Now I call the carry picking. Call the answer, Papa. Now you find trouble now. Where you the tell me say you don't like the woman, you don't like her. Uh, you won't make she go. If I walk her, you will go to enter her office. Uh, don't rap now. Why the complain? But uncle, you should see that you get the picking. Make devil hammer that mouth so you take pokam. Oh, wait, no. 
You hear me so? Oh. So, anytime where I get deal, can't travel, then you and Jamal go go to knock my wife, Abi? Ah, uh, uh, Uncle. For what thing now? I never finish with girls who get four sides. Nah, that, that your own, we don't even get one side. Nah, go go. <laughs> we don't even the see who they touch up. The Chris. The Chris, where were you, me? Which kind of dirty village girl where you they pursue for ya? Yeah? Which do be village girl if he catch? Apart from village girl, if you see another girl catch. Go try city girls now. You talk to my wife blind. She blind but she they look straight. You call. What do you they look? <laughs> and she they look straight. She don't see anything. Which one you they see at the time? See, you don't know, say this is my own advantage. I feel people facing me the bath. You know, go no. Come out there, they tell you something. You think that they look at nothing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna feed my eye. <laughs> Even a village girl who will agree for you. I talk about better city girl, man. We get money. We day. Ha. We the correct investment. Ha. Once they there, you never do anything. No. I told you I wanted all of that company there. What you've got me is just 30%. You know? I want all of it. Chief, you, you know that the major shareholder won't sell. And since she got married, I, I don't know, she has kind of disappeared. Find her. That's all. Just find her dead or alive. Well, okay. Better dead, actually, because I know that her sisters are up to something. And this is the only opportunity I have to get it back at them. Look, her father stole a lot from me. And this is when I'm going to recover all of it. So you have no option. Just find her. All right, Chief. All Lucas. Right. Get your men to work. Hmm? Yes, sir. And find her. All right, sir. Start the search now. I'm going now. Get busy. All right. Chief. find out. Wait a minute. I wonder why Auntie Helen. Auntie Helen of all people, huh? Would want to come back from America. <laughs> America where everything is rosy. Huh? Oh. Why would she want to come back to Nigeria? With her twisted mind, has been feeding her some news. Who knows? Oh, and you know that guy Kelechi is very dangerous. <laughs> he has been asking for too much for so long now. Huh? And we cannot continue to pay him, girls, or else we would go bankrupt. Bank rot. Yeah. yeah. Rot. <laughs> we <laughs> bank rot. Hey, what do we do then? Not to arrange him. We'll oh. take him out. Take him out. Take him out. How? Alfred could give us some contact. No, 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 no. Cut, cut that crap. I don't even want to hear that name no more. Oh, God damn it! Alfred Malfoot. I don't even trust him either. Hmm. One thing I know for sure. He knows how to get the dirty job done. Oh, girls. You girls are not thinking straight. 
You're not flowing. Um, see, we'll just have to get our stories right so that Auntie Helen would not suspect that we sold our own sister up just to take over father's company. See, sis, you have to make her understand that she got married and left the company with her husband. Trust me on that one. Mm -hmm. That guy, Kalechi, has to be taken care of. And quickly. Yeah. I'll say to it. What did you just say, Jazz? This girl, is my jazz jurisdiction. Girl. That's my girl. Jazz. Jazz. Yes. You are a good girl. Oh, I love you. Say much. to it. Say to it. <sighs> so which one of you is going to work today? Office? Are you gonna be able to make it to the office today? Oh, ah! you know. Oh, well. You know, guys, I hate paper works. I hate the paper works. Well, I do paper works. Oh, please. Copy paper works calculation. Spare me today, goddammit. Can you go to the office today? Oh, not me. <laughs> not me. You know that. I cannot Ooh. do paper works, girl. Office today is out of paper. There you go. Is that you? Who's there? Jim? Jim? Yeah, money. It's me, your husband. <sighs> Jim, you scared me. Uh, you see, Harmony. Yes? My name is not Jim. I am not who you think I am. My name is Kelechi. I don't understand. Well, you see, in this last nine months, being with you has changed my life. And I ask myself, what is a girl like you doing with me? Why would a girl like you leave a multi-millionaire company and all her affluence just to come and be with a common criminal like me. No, Harmony, I, I can't take this anymore. I can't handle it anymore. I can't continue like this. I didn't know why you changed. But in my heart, I knew the man I loved and gave myself to. And I also lived with the hope that Someday you will come to love me again. Oh, you see, Harmony, I was paid to do this. You were paid to do what? I was paid to marry you and take you away with me. You were paid. What did 
did I do? What did I do wrong? I only wanted to keep my father's legacy. I just wanted to leave something for posterity. I love you, Harmony. Oh, Jim, please don't lie to me. Please. You have taken everything from me. I can't bear it anymore. Please just don't do it. Who paid you? Your sister. Josie. But Angela and Jazz are also involved. They planned it. They planned everything. Oh God! How could they? Take me back. No, no harmony, I can't do that, you're not safe going back there. I have a company to run, and if you love me, you will take me back. Oh. Harmony, please, you must listen to me, I love you, I love you with all my heart with all my strength and and I will do anything anything possible to protect you look I'm different now I'm a changed man you must believe me please Harmony please don't go please stay with me My friends, oh. Ubo and Jama. Okay. Let's come, 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 come. Ungo, <laughs> Ungo. The best advice that I can give to you guys mm -hmm. is to go and marry. Nana, you realize. Nana, you marry. Nana, you. And I tell the truth. Ungo, they go, they go, they go. We hear you. I don't feel so bad. Go sleep well. Good night. I mean, they come right. Oh, Tajama. Come on, come on. 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 Get the money that we need, and I'll take you out of this place. Okay. I believe you. Loving you for just a day is better than eternity without love. I'm going to do everything possible, everything within my powers. Make sure that you and the baby is safe. I want you safe too. What are you 
done? I want to have a permanent picture of you right here in my heart. Sightless, but your heart sees small. have the location now? Fine. Now listen, I want you to clean up the mess once and for all, okay? Good, now get going. Thank you. To my house now, whether I know if you born. Who is the husband? See who you are, Bella. Where is the baby's clothes? Go and bring the baby's clothes. Eh? Go, go, go. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay. Come on. 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 I can see. 
see you. I can't see. I can't see. Only Mary. You mean you can see? Jesus. As in you can see me. I can see my baby. I can see my baby. I can see. Thank you, Jesus. I can see you. I can see you. Thank you, Jesus. I can see my baby. Holy Mary. Jesus, thank you. Because I can see my baby. I can see my child. And I can see you. And I can see you. Kelechi, your husband. Kelechi! Kele! My dear Harmony. Yeah. Kele? Uh. Kele, what's wrong with you now, please? <laughs> oh my god! They shot me. Oh my god. Kele? Kele, who shot you? Kelly, yeah. listen to me, listen to me. See, you, you have to stay with me. I, I can see you. You can see me? Yes, yes. I can see you, Kelly. Kelly. Uh, um, yeah, I'm only, you know, I promised that I was going to take care of you. Yes. But I'm sorry. I'm only, I love you so much. No, can I see? See, look at our baby. Please. You have to stay. It's a beautiful baby. Yeah. It's a beautiful baby. Yeah. That's the baby. You have to stay. You have to stay and take care of us, Kelly. That's what you said. How are you? You have to go. Go. You have to run. Why? They are coming. Who's coming? They are coming to kill you. Oh, baby. You have to go, Abony. No, no. I'm not going anywhere. Go, Abony, go! Go. Caleb, Go, woman, go! Caleb, please, Caleb! Amaze me. I have been here for a week now. Yet, 
blue tricks of your sister and her husband. What kind of sisters are you? You let her marry and vanish? Josie! Auntie Helen, it was her choice. Look, Auntie, how many is a big girl? I mean, she can take care of herself. I see. So, who runs the company? Because the harmony I know would not compromise her father's business to earn a thing. Well, aunt, harmony has changed. Really? I want to get to her office now. Welcome, madam. Thanks for seeing me on short notice. I got your credentials from the Interpol, telling me of an Interpol senior agent that will be coming to see him to look in a case. What case might that be, madam? The murder of my brother-in-law, Chief Jonathan Martins. He was your brother-in-law? I want the case reopened. I want the robbers that shot him and the names of the investigating officers that handled the case. I will see what I can do about that. No. 
I want those men here within 24 hours. Or I'll be tempted to take this to a higher level. I'm a dual citizen of Nigeria and the United States. I want those men that murdered my brother-in-law right away. Very well, madam. I will do just that. Then, Henning Donald. Thank you. Detective Musa, just come right away. Has been closed a long time ago. God damn it! I wonder why you want to drag dead bones out now. When was your father killed? Fifth May of last year, right? Yeah, that's what the report says. Does it? That is just it. That, that, that is what? Oh hell, gonna break loose. Justin, Angela, just hold every bit to sell. God damn it! You won't keep messing! I'm telling you, you know this is not right Shh. now. You just... Hello? Yes? I'll be right there. But that's you need that. You heard me! This woman is gone crazy. She don't call up and Make nobody God. try me because if anybody try me... I did not kill him. I did not kill him. Ah, big trouble. I didn't kill anybody. Ah. Look here, your friend. Mm. You see this knife? Mm. This knife here has pulled man balls. Uh. And I'll not hesitate to desert your anatomy <laughs> and throw you in a shallow grave where peace can feed on your flesh. Mm. Don't know my place. Not kill him. He was already dead. We only paid an instructor to, to dispose of his corpse in order to make it look like a robbery incident. But we did not kill him. That is all the truth there is to it. We did not kill him. Who we did not kill him. Buried the three of you. And where are the other two guys? That is still a mystery to me. I don't know. The rest of my colleagues were killed mysteriously. Two weeks after we were released of bill, that is the much I know him about. Who paid you? I don't know. Who paid you? Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! 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 Ah!
I pay you to clean up my mess, and you let that girl escape. Now her aunt is snooping around here and asking silly questions. Lucas! Yes, sir. Take a good look at this. Chief. You know what it can do? Yes, sir. If Helen gets to harmony before you, you know what it can do, don't you? Yes, sir. Don't you? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Chief. Just give me one more time. I'm sorry. Jim, your game is over. Who are you working for? Why are you buying off all the shares in the company anyway? Look, I told you before, I don't own any company, okay? We sold to the most prospective buyer. I don't own any damn company. That is not true. And you know it. And you are waiting for the remaining 55%. So that your boss can take over this company, isn't it? I know where she is. What wickedness! Why, Josie? Why? Aunt Helen, what are you talking about? This man is an insider. What? And Helen's company is owned by Chief Alfred. Our friend Jimmy Adebola is Alfred's man who is sent to create a divide and make a way for Alfred to take over your father's company. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Oh, that's a lie. That's a bloody lie. And you will know that in 10 minutes when the cops will put your stinking eggs in jail. Wait, wait, who is this woman? Who the hell is she? How dare you ask that question? Special Agent Helen Daniels of the Interpol and the sister-in-law to Chief Jonathan Martin Dickey, who was murdered. Gentlemen, so yes. Mr. G. Madevola, you are under arrest. You may wish to remain silent, for whatever you say now will be used against you in a competent court of law. I don't know what you're talking about, okay? I don't know what you're talking about. Trust me. Trust me. I don't know what you're talking about. What is happening? Come to Helen. What's going on? Josie. Do you remember the story Money used to read to your father? About the wicked stepmother who sold Great girl. Well, how many told her story without knowing it? I am going in search of your sister, you soul.
Where have you been? Where have you been? Don't worry. Let me have the baby. They tried to kill me. They killed my husband. Don't worry. Calm down. You'll be all right. Okay? Okay. Let's find a place to keep the baby safe. Then we'll head to Africa. No, I can't leave the baby. Please, no, I can't no. leave my baby. Please, trust me. The baby will be safe. Right? Let's go. Chaz! Chaz! How many? What is all this? Yes, you can see. How many you can see? Yes, Jazz, I can see. What are you doing here, you slut? Excuse me? Last time I checked, it was my life. And you chose to live it with a man who killed your father and caused your mother's death? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? She might be drunk. Can't you see her eyes? Of course. Josie, Angela, Jazz, all of you fought against one girl because she had the heart of her mother. She would rather die than see her father's fortune destroyed by greedy people like you. Alfred turned you against Harmony. He killed Martin. What? What in the world are you talking about? Look, if you've not been drinking, then you must have been smoking. No! I was there from the beginning. Martin found out the truth and confronted Alfred. That was why he killed him. Is that true? I think she's out of her mind. Now listen, what is the truth? I'm asking you, what is the truth? We all know that Martin was killed by armed robbers. Every one of you here knows that, right? Martin was shot here in this compound. Your bullet! You bastard! You left me! I kept you alive, John. But for me, you would have been dead. You. You killed my husband. You killed my husband. <laughs> This man here killed your father. He caused the death of your mother. This is for you. Alfred. This is for you. Alfred, why would you like to kill your own daughter? Why? For God's sake, what, what are you talking about? I don't have a daughter. How many is your daughter? Auntie, did Uncle Fred give you anything? Hmm. No. But he said I should come back. If I can have it for just one night. Alfred! No, no. Tell me you're not serious. You, you must be joking, Alfred. You heard me, didn't you? For just one night. Then you can take the money. That's all. <laughs> no! <laughs> Alfred, no, please. It's not fair. It is not fair. Hi. Well, well, well. My cousin Helen is waiting outside there. You are keeping your cousin outside. The moment you agree to my proposal, I give you the money, you give it to Helen, she gives it to the doctor. We are in business. Everything normalizes. 
Please, Alfred. Alfred, you can do this without what you're requesting. I see. You can help us, please. I'm begging you. Okay. Have you made up your mind yet? I don't have all the time in the world. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> Good. You see, but that's one thing I like about you. You know when to be reasonable. Okay. No, Let no, me no. have the money. No, <laughs> I will just finish this. So we can go up and I'll give you the money. I won't be long. <laughs> Don't be a child. Why be a child? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I want you to live for me. He forced her to go to bed with him. My conscience has been blaming me. I've been fighting with my conscience. I went against my wish. I betrayed my husband. You remember that they gave you that money at Alfred's house? When I went for that money, Alfred refused, refused bluntly to give me that money. Except, except if he sleeps with me. Nobody to help us. Helen, you know I love my husband very, very much. And I can do anything to keep him alive. I did what I had to do. I slept with him. <laughs> Anybody, please. Jesus, you are a beast. And you are not fit to be anyone's father. Please. You are a devil! I don't even know what she's saying. And I promise your mother I will not say a word until Martin found my diary. He came to the United States to confront me. <laughs> After that, Alfred killed Martin! Oh my oh. god! <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't. Martin was my father. No one else. I am putting you under arrest for murder. Not me!
my hope is dying because no matter what I do it only gets worse so I need a guardian angel someone to take my pain away every night and day I pray I need a guardian angel the suffering just too much for me I need someone to set me free I need a guardian 